Hi everyone, it's Miss Flawless Beauty, and today I'm just giving you my latest um, face routine, and here you see me doing my eyebrows. They're basically the same way I've always done them, but I'm using a different pencil here. I'm just using the NYX in um, Espresso. So, like I said, I've had a video up on my eyebrows before, so you can just watch. But in the meantime, uh, I'm using Estee Lauder today. Um, I had got a job at Macy's uh, working in the cosmetics department, and prior to that, I had purchased some Estee Lauder, and I'm like, they need some help. So, <laughs> I basically applied, got the job, but needless to say, um, at the present time, I'm not there anymore. Uh, may go back, may not. Uh, depends on if they get my salary right, but at any rate, so I hadn't used the product up until this point and once I tried it I did this look and I was like you know this is really good and I had like three eyeshadows from them so I'm going to feature those shadows eventually um in some more videos also I tried their um concealer and the day that I purchased the eyeshadows um I tried out the concealer but they didn't have it so once I started working there they had it and um I went ahead and purchased it with my little discount. So now I'm about to use my start my foundation routine. And here I'm using the um, Makeup Forever HD foundation. My number is 175. Um, keep in mind, I haven't gotten my summer tan, so this would be my summer uh, complexion. Um, I think maybe in the summer I probably would go to 177. Um, but I wouldn't purchase that for that. But at any rate. Um, here I'm using my Beauty Blender. I lightly um, wet it with a little bit of Fix Plus. And just to kind of sheer out the foundation just a little bit. Nothing too heavy. And I realized that I didn't put my brow set on my brow. So I'm using Girl Boy here by MAC. And just to lighten the brow just a little bit. Now here is the Double Wear Concealer by Estee Lauder. And let me tell you, this concealer, okay, I smelt it. Now, keep in mind that Estee Lauder uh, bought out MAC. This is the same concealer as Pro Longwear. It smells just like it. It's just in a different packaging. And I love the Pro Longwear Concealer by MAC. And um, after I purchased this and I smelt it, I'm like, this is nothing but Pro Longwear. It's just in a different you know type of packaging tube it does the same so this has been my go-to concealer um i'm hoping that this lasts me for a minute or they work something out where i can continue to get my discount on this because i really love this concealer oh and i believe it is in 06 or either 09 here i'm using um studio fix c4 to set my concealer and c4 would probably be comparable to uh Studio Fix NC42, something around in there. Maybe less. And just, you know, pack that into your face, kind of press it in in order for it to set the concealer. And what I like about this concealer is it does not crease. Um, I have been using the Studio Finish Concealer in NC42 and sometimes NC35, and it was creasing up under the eye. Here I'm using... Um, Beautiful Bronze, I believe, by the, um, oh, Lord, I can't think of the name right now. Uh, shoot. It'll come to me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm using that as my contour color. I love this because it's not too dark. It's not as dark as uh, Blunt by MAC. So I'm just, you know, lining up my contour, uh, snatching that nose up, and carving out those cheeks. Black Radiance, that's it. Black Radiance, uh, that's what it's by, who it's by, Black Radiance, and that's the beautiful bronze. Here I'm using Sun Power uh, Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC as a blush. I like this as well because um, it gives like a natural blush. It's not too bright. And, you know, if you were a little darker, you could probably use it as an all over, but I just use it as a um, cheek color. Now I'm taking my uh, Soft and Gentle by MAC. And I put it on my brush, and that's a Bedellian Tools brush, and I just lightly spritzed it with some um, Fix Plus to give it a nice sheen. Here I'm using my NYX HD um, eyeshadow primer. 
Um, I think personally this could be comparable to uh, Smashbox's uh, Photo Finish um, Eye Primer. Now I'm taking Soft Ochre and I'm just placing that over top of the NYX. And just to give the color uh, some brightness and something to kind of stick to. And just blending out with my fingers very, very well. And as you can see, I'm looking for something, looking a little lost, but I'm sure I'm going to find it. And there it is, the Estee Lauder palette. And this palette is called Raisin. It's a, uh, excuse me, uh, the two eyeshadow palette, and it is in Raisin. Very, very pigmented. The shades, once again, being that Estee Lauder bought out MAC, they have some shades very similar to MAC. The consistency to me is the same, if not better. And I'm taking that up just a little bit above my crease to um, open my eye up just a little bit. Now I'm taking the darker color, the darker burgundy um, hmm, plum color. And I'm putting that in my outer crease. I'm kind of creating a V. And I'm going to take that. Um, it may get cut off, but I'm going to make me a crease with that color. And go right above the light shimmery color that I used. Now I'm taking a 217 brush by MAC. And I'm going back into that um, beautiful bronze, um, that bronzy um, setting powder by Black Radiance. And I'm just basically doing a transition color and kind of blending out that harsh line uh, that I created with the plum color. And just blend very, very well. Now taking like a no-name brush, um, maybe a crown um, crease brush. And I wanted to darken my crease just a little bit. So here I'm taking Embark by MAC and that may be espresso but I want to say that it's Embark because I wanted something a little bit on the reddish brown side and I'm deepening my crease with that. <clears throat> now taking a 224 I'm just going to blend all those colors together, blend them out and get rid of any harsh lines. Here this is my favorite color by MAC, one of my very first shades I bought which is Vex and I'm going to use that as a highlight color. And just to kind of marry those colors together and get rid of, you know, any harsh lines or demarcation between the colors. And just blend a little bit with my finger and blend out with a brush. And that's also, that's the 275 by MAC that I use to um, add my highlight. Now I'm using, I believe this is Maybelline's Ultra Liner. And I'm creating just a slight wing. And I've just, I do a wing almost every day. I just love it. <laughs> It brings my eye up pretty much. Now take an engraved eye cold pencil by MAC. I'm just going to place that on the outer portion of my um, waterline. And taking this small brush by uh, Michaels. Um, I want to say it's a Leo Cornell brush. I'm going back into that plum color. And I'm going <clears> to <throat> just spread that engraved out with that plum color. And finish up my eye look. I didn't want it to be too harsh. But very soft and um, day wearable. Now, going back in with the lighter color in the uh, quad, I'm attaching that to my uh, waterline. Now here, as you can see, I'm a little confused because I thought I had picked up Vex, but that is Pen Curl, which was a limited edition color, and it looks like Vex, and of course, I lean to anything that looks like Vex, so I picked it up, and I wound up putting that in my waterline. Now here is a very nice mascara by Milani. Um, I can't remember the name right offhand, but it is very nice. You have to get you some of that. Here I'm using my Medium Deeps Mineral Eye Skin Finish to just kind of blend everything together and, you know, finish my face off. And one of my favorite pencils is um, by Jordana. Um, not for sure of this color. I want to say it's Coffee Bean, but it may not be. Um, a little more reddish. And here I'm using, <clears throat> excuse me, a lipstick by Wet n Wild. <clears throat> I want to say it's B050. And just blend that in. That is a very nice nude color. The pigmentation is awesome. And I'm using my Glitzy Gloss by Milani, which a very high shine. This gloss give MAC a run for its money in their clear lip glass. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it's been so long. Um, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Enjoy the video. Bye-bye.